News. Nine people have died while 27 others have been seriously injured following an accident involving a school bus and a truck near Mwingi town. The accident occurred yesterday when the bus traveling from Mombasa was involved in a head-on collision with a truck which was heading the opposite direction. Parents of people from St. Gabriel's Academy in Mwingi were waiting just a few kilometers to receive them when their lives were cut short. Kitui Central OCPD Mturi Mongera who coordinated rescue efforts said eight people died on the spot when the bus overrolled several times while six victims were referred to Kenyatta National Hospital for specialized treatment. Meanwhile, six of the people who were injured in that accident were transferred to Kenyatta National Hospital. The Ministry of Education is set to issue a statement on the accident at KNH. Our reporter Francis Ontoma is on that bit. Francis, it's good to be speaking to you. This is indeed truly bad news. What more can you tell us? Well, indeed, a traumatizing uh, occurrence here and KNH here. Ambassador Amina Mohammed, uh, the cabinet secretary in charge of education, is expected to make her way here uh, to come and assess the situation, look at the casualties who are referred to this facility and give a status report of what is happening, especially now that uh, the topic of safety, in, uh, safety, safety during transportation of uh, pupils and students is, uh, has been given a lot of limelight, given that this is August or holidays when a lot of of uh, uh, trips are occurring every other part of the country. The official status uh, report that we are getting regarding this particular accident is that so far 10 pupils have lost their lives. Four were referred here at the Kenyatta National Hospital. Uh, three are still in critical condition. One perished as he has uh, the, the patient was getting treatment here at the facility. That is, a, that is a status report given by Thomas Mutie who is the acting uh, CEO of this uh, of the Kenyatta National Hospital. So therefore it's, it's, it's a low mood here is quite somber here at uh, the KNH. Of course, uh, many trying to look at. Uh, uh, the, we have seen my people actually camping around here, suspecting actually some of them uh, could be relatives of uh, this, the, 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 the pupils who've been referred to this facility. And just to give you a bit of uh, a recap of what really transpired, this accident is said to have happened 11 p.m. last night. That is Saturday night, and it involved uh, the bus of uh, uh, Saint Gabriel Primary School. They had they had they had actually boarded a bus of another school that they were using and they were coming all the way from a trip in Mombasa. They collided head-on with a truck and this uh, saw the bus of a turn and it ended in a river that is the Kangagi River that is uh, some two kilometers from Mungi town. It's quite sad really because uh, there were some six pupils who had already been discharged uh, that is they, were, they had already been dropped to their places and uh, now the, the bus was in its final stretch to ensure that all the pupils uh, were going to get home safely and therefore quite tragic uh, the country is mourning. We've seen the head of state himself, President Huru Kenyatta, send a, a message of condolences to this family. He has regretted about this accident and, of course, said that uh, drivers, especially those driving uh, pupils, uh, students and pupils, should be more careful. We've also seen a statement from Charity Kalukingilu, who is uh, the governor of Kitui. She has also sent uh, a message of condolences, of course, uh, grieving with the family and uh, saying that they are together in this particular moment when, uh, of course, one of the toughest moments for families that are concerned uh, with this particular accident, Zinzi. All right.